Hi, it's Alexander from Tilda. We've created several demo pages with different animation effects to show you how you can set them up for your projects. In this video, I'll break down the hover effect. It is applied to the button here, and it looks like this. Let's see how this effect works. We see the template ID in the lower right corner, which means that we can use the page as a template and insert it in our project. To do this, I create a new page in my project, scroll down the templates, and click Enter Template ID at the very bottom. I paste in the number, and a template with all the animation settings has now been added to my project. This is Zero Block. To see how the animation works, I head over to Zero Block Editor. Here we see some illustrations in the main object that we need to animate. The animation is in the Element Settings panel. You can open and close it with the Tab key. I click Edit at the bottom of the panel under Step-by-Step -step Animation to see the animation settings. All the settings have been copied to my project, along with the template. So let's break down what we have here. It's pretty simple. There are three basic actions to set up any step animation. Event, Steps, and Properties. Let's start with the event setting that defines what launches the animation. Here you have several options, on click, on scroll, or when the element appears on the screen. We need to choose on hover. Once we've defined the event, we go over to the steps tab, which contains the steps we add to change the properties of the element. We only have two steps here, the first state of the button and the second one. This is what it looks like. Once we add the second step, I click on the Add Step button and then the Properties tab appears. These are the properties on the element that can be changed at each step. On the first step, after the start, two properties are modified. Move, which adjusts the trajectory of the element from the first to the second position. It moves 42 pixels down and to the right, which we can clearly see. You also have to set the duration, the period when the animation will occur. You can set it for 1, 2 seconds, and so on. Our animation is pretty fast, so we'll set it to 0.1 seconds here. That's all you have to do to animate this button. To see the animation in action, you can use the preview mode or publish the page. I opened the preview. We can see that the animation has been applied and works when I hover the mouse over the button. That's how you can apply a cool effect pretty quickly. Watch the rest of our videos about step-by-step -step animation in Zero Block. Thank you for choosing Tilda. Take care and good luck.